This afternoon, Jiu Jitsu Mania is in Westminster, California, just south of Los Angeles, with Honus Gracie at his Gracie Elite Team Academy. Good afternoon, Honus. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, my pleasure. Well, another Gracie, another elite fighter, another champion. Please tell us about your family background, how you got started in Jiu Jitsu, and what the legacy that you'd like to leave the sport with. Yeah, I started with young, you know, as every, every Gracie in the family. I started when, uh, I don't know, like, pretty much when I started walking the mats and we get involved, go to the your uncle's academy, play around a little bit. But I started taking more seriously uh, with nine years old, when I started taking classes every day and after school. And when I started competing, my first tournament, I was nine years old, it was in 1996 in Brazil. That's when I, I, I believe I started training. And so, t so tell us about your family lineage. Which side of the Gracie family do you, do you descend from? Yeah, I'm from the side of uh, Carlos Gracie, senior, where Master Carlos Gracie. My mother, uh, I will be the third generation. My mother is uh, his daughter, so one of the 24, 21 kids he had. And my mother is from the last, uh, his last wife. There was, uh, he had six kids with the, his last wife. The first one was Carlos, Carlinhos from Recibarra. Second one was uh, my mother, and then Roger's mother, Hela, Crawling, uh, Helion, Bill Gracie, and Killer. So six, six kids, along with, of course, the other 21. Right. So, how often does the, the family get together and train? Well, we, every time, you know, it's tough because everyone lives far away from each other. But we try to, every time we're together, we always try to train, exchange information, share positions. So, it's not like every day, but you know, when Roger comes here, he always shows me some stuff. Or when Greg was my cousin from New York. Every time we have an opportunity to get together, it's, uh, it's amazing. So when you're training students, and I know you started very young, tell us how you integrate technique with rolling. So many students get confused, and, and white belts get that kind of, uh, um, you know, a lot of internal dialogue in their head. They get excited. They tend to gas out early and not think clearly. So tell us how you implement rolling in specific training into a beginner's program? Yeah, I think if you're a beginner, uh, you know, the first thing you need to know is, of course, the techniques. And it's, uh, everything's new for you. So you can't just, you cannot put your a beginner student to go ahead and roll, because rolling involved a lot of techniques. So I, I think what I do with my students here I, I don't let them roll for the first month, first couple months. I, but that, mean, that doesn't mean they don't have to, they don't get to practice techniques with the actual uh, strength. So I do a lot of specific trainings, but only specific trainings in that specifically position. Usually the same position they work, they learn the techniques, they work in specific trainings that day. So that, it will go like that for the couple first month. And then when he has already a good base, has a good knowledge and a solid base, and then he's ready to start rolling around. You know, I think that's a, that, that avoids injuries, and I believe that's the best way to learn. Great. So tell us about what's next for you on the, the competitive jiu-jitsu horizon, and then we'll talk about it, your uh, MMA career. Yeah, I, my jiu-jitsu uh, career, of course, is still uh, in the beginning too. I'm still a brown belt, there's a lot to do. I will never, I will not, I never stop competing, I love jiu-jitsu. Uh, my next tournament is the World Championship coming up in June, you know, so I, but as you said, no, I'm a little more focused now in MMA, that's, that's I think the next step, and I'm already looking ahead of the, the game because, you know, if you, if you look for every fighter in Jiu-Jitsu, all the world champions, when they accomplish a lot of things in Jiu-Jitsu, they jump into MMA. I, that's something that I have in my mind too, but I don't want to wait until I get my black belt and, and become a world champion and to start thinking about MMA. So I'm already training MMA and starting to get ready to prepare myself because that's, that's my goal, that's my focus now, MMA. And Jiu Jitsu at the same time, of course. But I want to make sure I'm ready so I can start my career strong in MMA. So then tell us what your next step is in terms of your conditioning and training. You have uh, about eight weeks before the Mundial, so tell me how you're going to break down your training. How much rolling, how many technique drills, what percentage works for you? Well, uh, yeah, I believe if you're going to compete Jiu-Jitsu, 
there's nothing better than train jiu-jitsu, right? So uh, the conditioning training helps a lot, of course. I'm doing a lot of conditioning just because I'm also training for MMA, so you have to prepare your body to handle the training. So what I do as far as uh, uh, lift weights and stuff, I lift weights just to get my body prepared and strong enough to be able to handle the training. I don't want to worry about getting buff or big, and I do a lot of conditioning, a lot of cardio, cardio training, you know, as I'm doing already boxing and a lot of stand up, that helps my cardio too, so I don't need to run too much or, you know, do a lot of, uh, uh, cardio activities because I'm already those activities already helps me with my cardio. But I'm training a lot of jiu-jitsu and try to train, you know, as much as possible. Well, congratulations, and we wish you luck. We thank you for the time. And if you can close, if you had one tip to offer someone who's in their first year of training, what would it be? Well, my tip is, uh, you know, just think about the techniques you do when you're training as you're a new, a new student. Every time you learn a technique, when you go home, think about it, keep it sharp in your mind, and just be patient. No, don't try to rush, because it's, it's normal in the beginning, people try to do a lot of strength, you know, because you believe in strength. So it's hard for you to, to believe in the techniques at first. You know, only if you see a guy smaller than you, maybe overcome you in training, and then you start thinking, oh, so maybe there's technique. So my tip is just be patient and believe the technique. You know, and try to work on the techniques all the time. Try to, even if you have strength, you go to a class, you don't have to get off, get out of the class really tired. Just go there, do technique, and try to avoid using, uh, use as less strength spot, uh, as possible. Great. You know, and that's my tip. Great. Thank you very much, and we look forward to great things and a couple of world championships from you. Thank you, it's my pleasure, you know, uh, it's a great, uh, it's a great pleasure for me to uh, give an interview and share my couple of my ideas and everything for you guys. Hope you guys like.